Hey y'all, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do this animation that is like a spinning star wheel. So let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how to create one. For this project we'll be using a video format. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to head over to elements. I am going to scroll down to frames. I am going to go to basic shapes and I'm going to grab this upside down triangle. Now, once I have my triangle that I want to use, what I'm going to do next is let me go to my uploads. I got some little cheat sheets here. Now, don't look at this bottom piece because we're not worried about the X and the Y. We just want to know these. So I'm going to expand it out so you can see it and bump that over to make that bigger. So I want to click on my triangle. I want to go into position. I want to go into a range and this box, these boxes down here, I want to go with the width and the height and I want to change it to these numbers. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to put 428.8, enter. And then I'm going to go here and I am going to go 554.3 for the width, enter. And that should give me the size that I need. So I'm going to delete that. And then the other thing we're going to need, let me go to the uploads and get my other cheat sheet is here so we're going to go into the three bars that are up here and we're going to change our border weight i'm going to change the border weight to 12 12 enter and i'm going to oh see it's oh i had the wrong thing highlighted y'all let me get my triangle so we're going to do 12 on the border weight enter and then my corner rounding is going to be 59 enter okay we don't need that anymore let's shush it on off and away it goes now we can start building our flower now you can change your border color to anything you want to it doesn't matter that's up to you you're the stylist so what i'm going to do is duplicate this and then i'm going to start lining up my pieces so i want the black each of these black to overlay each other so it looks just like one line instead of two beside it. But if you want it thicker, you could do that if you want to. But I am going to try to overlay it. And then when I got it to where I think it looks good, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group those together. I am going to duplicate it and I'm going to bring it around like so. And I line it up in the next section. And this might be a little bit of the tricky part, but we want to line that up in the next section. And then when you get it aligned, you can see that's a straight line. You're going to group that together. You're going to duplicate it. You're going to spin it around and make the other side. And then you're just going to line that up. Put it over. Like so, and then you have your flower. So what I'm going to do for my channel members is I am going to put a um, template with this and the other piece into the community tab for my members. So it doesn't matter which tier you're on. If you're a member of my, my channel, you will be getting this and the other piece. So what I want to do now is group. And then I want to uh, duplicate. So let's go back into position, grab that real quick and duplicate this. And I'm going to put it over to the side for the moment. Now what I want to do is go into my elements go over here. I'm just going to use my recently used and I am going to start importing pictures. So I want my pictures in there. Come on, grab on that last one. Here we go. All right, so that's my flower. So those are my photos. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to do the part of my color. So what you want to do is you're going to grab four of these. So I'm going to go and hit my color. I'm going to use this color here. 
I am going to do gradient. I'm going to change that to white. white. And I am going to change this to the color like that and kind of make that my color. Also, I'm going to put that as my background color too. And then oh, what you want to do is I want to change my four. So I'm going to do those four like so. And then when I'm going to take these, I don't need these. So what I'm going to just do is click on those and delete those. So I can delete that. I can grab the ones that the frames that we're not using and I can just highlight those and I can delete those. So now that's going to go, you're going to overlay that on top. I'm going to grab both of these and kind of center them up a little bit. And then what you're going to do, what I did is if you have a logo or anything to hide this messy part in the middle is I just grabbed a, let's grab a circle and change the color. Come on, change the color, change the color. And then I put a border on it like so and then i put some text in there um what did i put um i did a text box though i don't really like the text thing in the square i don't know it's just not me spa days and do that and i changed that i'm going to highlight that i changed that to this here and Let's put that in the center and so you just do whatever you want to and just for ease if you want to you can go ahead and group that together just to get it out your way so I'm gonna hit my control key have both of those highlighted and group that together so now we have a built out so we have our flower built now we're gonna start animating so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do four because there's four pictures here and then I'm gonna do four of the others so you'll see what I'm saying in a minute. So all you're going to do is you're going to duplicate the page. You're going to grab this one and go in one direction. Like so. Line them up. And then you're going to grab the other one and go in the reverse direction. So if you was going this way, you want the other one going the other way. So we're going to go this way. And then we're going to do duplicate this one goes here and this one goes the other way and you just line them up and grab my top spin it this away grab my bottom spin it the other way and now I got my first four so now I need to show my next four pages. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this page. I am just going to grab my photo wheel and turn it to the next section. And then I'm going to duplicate that page and do the same thing that I was doing before. The same way here. We're going to go here. I'm going to grab my photo wheel, go in the opposite direction. Then I'm going to duplicate the page, grab my wheel. The wheel's going this way, this wheel's going this way, and my photo wheel is going the opposite way, so I'm going down this way with that. And then we're going to do four of these, and I'm going to duplicate the page again, and I am going to grab my front wheel, and that's going to go downward and then I'm going to grab my photo wheel and I'm going into the opposite direction and I'm going this way okay and now I have my full animation up so the next thing I want to do is I want to go over here and hit my match and move so uh, let's hit my match and move you know what I'm going to say turn it all the way up apply between all the pages and then we're going to set our timing uh let's do let's keep the 2.5 and see if we can get where it winds up at 2.8 2.6 let's do 2 2.3 all right we'll take 2.3 
the thing. Sometimes, you know. All right, so we're going to look at our animation now. So well, let's see what we got. One. It's going to spin. Oh, I think I need to shorten the time down on these. Seems awful slow, doesn't it? And you can see right there where it stops, it's transitioning to the next four sets. And then, let's change these down to two. I feel like it's just going way too slow. Two, two, all right. So what I want to do, so if you saw the beginning where it's kind of popping in, so the only thing I did with that is I duplicated this first page. And I took the first one, and all I did was I grabbed the wheel. I went in a position. I grabbed the photo wheel, and let's take the page down. So I took the page down and we just kind of, I just expanded that out big and then centered it back up on top of the other one. And then if you see it now, it'll just, hold on, let me make it, let me make it big because I can't see and I got my glasses on y'all. So we're going to do this. We're going to go and then it'll just zoom in. And then at the end, if you want to, you can take that first page. Or you can take the very, very first page or the first page of the spin and do, or what we do, let's do this. I'm doing some, uh, there was a lot of suggestions in my Facebook when I posted this. So I'm trying to kind of, uh, one of them was, uh, somebody said something about like taking the transparency down a little bit so you can see those behind it. So you could also do that on there. The other thing you can do too when you get to the last page is take this and move it behind. And then you can have the, another thing was showing all of those in here too. So we'll add our match and move real quick to that. So we can see that transition there. So you can see that transition of it showing the whole thing. And then if you wanted to, you can do something like this. You can duplicate the page. You can take your spa day and make it big and put it in there. You can just go crazy with it. And if you really wanted to, you could kind of, um, oh, I didn't have my match and move in there. Shame, girl, shame. Plot between all pages. So there's all kinds of things you gotta do. I've got some other ideas with other things I can do with this, but um, once I figure out other things I can do with it, trust me, I will make a tutorial and I will let y'all know, especially if I put it on my Facebook page or my members group and somebody was like, yes, do this, do this. So that's an experiment for another day. Thank you for stopping by. I love you guys. I hope to see you on the next tutorial. Bye y'all.